My wife and I moved to Salem Town in 2010. Um, moved to the neighborhood on purpose. We wanted to live somewhere where there was a lot of obvious need, where we could love our neighbors and make a difference in the neighborhood. There was a great need with the youth in the neighborhood. Um, not very many positive male role models, not a lot of fathers in the homes. And so we began to just naturally develop relationships with the kids, playing basketball at the community center. We were trying to figure out what kind of business we could start where we could take it beyond just hanging out on the front porch and playing basketball, but where we could more intentionally get into their lives and actually teach them something. So we wanted to start something where we could employ some of the young men, especially in the neighborhood, pay them well, mentor them, um, and equip them for the future. My buddy Will, who's the co-founder of Salem Town Board Co., also lived in Salem Town. I knew he had a, a background in woodworking and in surfing. He was also a part of the, the urban skate culture, and so I called him, told him about the idea, and asked him if he thought we could make it happen, and he said sure, and so, um, a couple days later, we came up with the name. It was uh, kind of obvious. The neighborhood is Salem Town, the shop is in Salem Town, the kids were trying to reach are in Salem Town, so it only made sense. A lot of what we're doing here is trying to, trying to equip these guys, um, whether it's through specialized job training, like knowing how to work a drill press, being comfortable uh, around uh, a bandsaw or a drill or just knowing knowing how to be hands-on with different tools uh, that's helpful but it, you know if they don't want to do a job that in the trade that's fine uh, because I see kind of the greater aspect of what we're doing here teaching them to hold themselves to a standard uh, and that is something that it, that is so important teach them how to work excellently teach them how to finish a job teach them how to show up on time uh, teach them that you can create something beautiful out of nothing with your hands. I, I learned how to work hard because I had somebody in my life that said, yeah, you can do what you want with your Saturday, but first you're gonna mow the yard and you can't go until it's done. And this is what done looks like. And we do the same thing here. We're just doing it with skateboards. It's like, yeah, come work for us. And um, yeah, you're gonna get paid when it's done. And this is what done looks like. Um, and that, that skill, just having the eyes, whether it's skateboard, whether it's your lawn, whether it's your homework, whether it's a, a collegiate degree, like whatever it is, just having the ability to know what good work looks like. I, we believe that whether you're sanding a skateboard or whether you're taking the SAT, like that, that that skill can overlay into other aspects of life. And so what's really exciting for us to see is that as, we're, as our company grows and as we're giving them more opportunities to see and experience different things, um, it's kind of fun to see their minds open to what their possibilities are. We try to make a smooth on the sides and on the flesh out on the surface. We knew that we wanted to make skateboards. We knew that we wanted to make skateboards so we can em employ and mentor and train the youth in our neighborhood. But the problem was we didn't have any money, we didn't have any tools, we didn't have any wood. My dad had a stack of what we think is over a hundred year old oak. Um, that was from an old barn that had been torn down that he had just stacked up in his barn. And so that was perfect. That kind of stuff is expensive, but we got it for free. And so the first wood we used probably for the first 30 skateboards was reclaimed over a hundred year old solid white oak. Since then, we've established a good relationship with a sawmill um, that, that locally sources everything from the Appalachian Mountains. And then we also buy the majority of our oak from a privately owned local Nashville lumber yard. Being in Nashville, it is, um, it, is a, it is a conscious city. And so for us doing what we do, kind of sitting at the intersection of um, kind of some you know, social justice -y issues, but also we want to make sure that from be beginning to end, our product is just good for Tennessee, you know, from, um, you know, from the moment we go and pick it up, like we're picking it up from people who love Tennessee. You know, we pick it up from people who love the forests of Tennessee. Um, and so for us, it was important that we, could, that we could know that we weren't just, you know, going to some hardware store, picking up something that had been shipped from, you know, God knows where, but like we want to know that 
you know, when we, when we make these boards from who we hire to, you know, where we resource our stuff, most of our, most of our supplies are bought from a, a corner hardware store just right down the road. You know, we, we love being able to support our neighborhood. We love being able to support small business. Um, and we love being able to go to the source and know that throughout every aspect of what we're doing, it's, it's good for Nashville. And we just uh, passed our 100 skateboard goal, which allowed us to hire our second employee, Brandon. So now we have Brandon and Kendris who both live in the neighborhood. It's amazing to have started a business where we get to naturally do what we were already doing um, with the kids in our neighborhood, but also make um, beautiful one-of-a-kind pieces of art that are also functional skateboards that you can hang on your wall and never ride or that you can ride your entire life and, and give to your kids and they can give to their grandkids because it's solid wood, it's handmade, it's quality and their works of art. And we, you know, we've created this space where we can bring in young men and just put a hand on their back and say like, look what you did, I'm, I'm proud of what you did. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't care who you are, what neighborhood you grew up in, like every young man, like that's good for them. And I think like every young man can use more of that. It's about being excellent and making beautiful functional product, but more than that, it's about the kids and about employing, training, mentoring, equipping urban youth in Nashville.